I love my chocolate bars, as long as they're vegan. The sweet taste of Cadbury's plant-based salted caramel bar brings happiness to my taste buds. The rich, velvety texture is irresistible and utterly divine. To many of us, it's hard to steer clear of the influence of a Big Mac with fries from McDonald's, a Boston cream donut from Tim Hortons, or take out pizza ready in minutes. It's a modern day dilemma living in the developed part of the world, which makes me ask the question, why are we addicted to junk food? Take myself for example, a 47 year old who should be focusing more on taking care of himself by eating healthy greens and staying physically fit. Sure, I've been primarily vegan since 2018. I have not eaten meat since then. And now the thought of eating an animal makes me quiver. I'm drinking at least three liters of water a day, and occasionally on certain days, I fast for 16 hours. However, like the rest of you, I'm only human and susceptible to unavoidable temptation. I still love the convenience of fast food, like millions of us all over the world. Yet I'm aware that all of these restaurant chains, supermarkets, and purveyors of quick and easy snacks only care about one thing, profit. Every year, corporations spend billions of dollars on advertising aimed to seduce audiences with the amazing taste of that new burger or that savory milky sensation of ice cream. I asked myself this question in the past. Why is it that advertisers push for so much hype for junk food yet focus little on produce, such as strawberries, oranges, or spinach. After a few decades of these amenities, many of us now suffer from physical ailments. Diabetes, high blood pressure, and cholesterol are now commonplace. Every year, obesity rates grow higher and higher. More and more of us are now on prescription medication. It is the consequence of modern day living. The majority of us have compromised healthy lifestyles for the convenience of junk food. I'll admit, whenever I walk through the aisles of candy, pop, chips and desserts in a grocery store, I'm astounded by the bright, colorful arrays of packaging sheltering a bunch of Oreo cookies or Doritos. Growing up as a teenager, I would buy the biggest bag of cheese flavored nachos and finish it entirely within a day. Sure, by federal law, every package of food is required to have nutritional facts imprinted on them. But ask yourself, how frequently do we really scrutinize the ingredients within? Which makes me ask the core question for this video. Why are we addicted to junk food? From my perspective, it serves as a comfort in alleviating everyday stress and an escape from the harsh realities of today's world. I'm sure many of you would admit to this. After a long day, I just want to lie on my couch and feast on a bunch of pretzels drenched in salt. But the fact of the matter is, most of us nowadays lead busy lives, working long hours in the office, leaving little time to cook a wholesome, hearty meal full of health benefits. As recently as a century ago, we may have been able to enjoy home-baked bread or soup filled with nutrient-rich vegetables grown in our backyard garden, but the pace of change continues to accelerate. A beef burrito from Taco Bell can be made for us in less than a minute, whereas something even as simple as pasta would take several to prepare. There are no easy solutions. Even as health experts warn about the dangers of eating too much, we stuff our mouths full of toxic food, contributing to long-term disease, depression, and shorter lifespan. Now that I'm plant-based, I'm glad more vegan options are available, but there's still much for me, along with a lot of us, to improve upon. I'm not a doctor or a dietitian, but let me just say, when it comes to longevity, a balanced diet is what really counts. The next time you buy that bag of Skittles or a box of Lindors, ask yourself, 
Am I seeking divine comfort or just a short dopamine rush? Now that I'm in my late 40s, I think the benefits of strawberries, rich in vitamin C and antioxidants, are really appealing. After all, I too have loved ones to cherish. I thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this presentation, please give it a like. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. This is Sean, wishing you peace, much love, and better health.